Good morning, Internet. I'm about to get some coffee and sit down with a book, but I wanted to have a conversation with you if you have the time. I want to talk about what is the best cure to keep yourself protected from people with narcissistic personality disorder or narcs or whatever you want to call them. And I think the best cure, honestly, and hear me out because this might seem like heresy, is being single for a while. Now, I know we live in a world that everyone thirsts for love and they externally look for it. You know, we have Tinder and we have all these other apps. We have the internet. We have the DMs and all that good stuff. But, you know, I am no holy roller. But I do think taking your time after going through such heartache and such abuse and not hopping into a relationship so early, giving yourself six months, a year, maybe a year and a half is like the best way to save yourself from narcissistic people, be they love interests, friends, family. I think what we lack, in my opinion, just my opinion, is that we lack self-love. I think we've been groomed um, in this day and age to seek external validation. We've been told that we're not beautiful enough, we're not handsome enough, um, we don't make enough money, we don't have the right hair, the right wig, we don't have this, we don't have that. But when someone talks about self-love, when someone talks about self-love, it's kind of poo-pooed away, you know? Have you ever just kind of said, ah, oh, man, you know, I'll love myself after I lost this many pounds, or I love myself after I get this much money, or I love myself. There's always some kind of circumstance to give yourself permission to love yourself, but you just can't do it right away, right? It makes me sad that I see so many 20-year-old people in my inbox telling me their life is over when I'm like, you don't understand your life has just begun, right? When you get to my age, you look back and you're like, oh my God, there's so many things I could have done if I would have known, but that's called wisdom, right? People forget that self-love is something narcissistic people lack. Narcissistic people hate themselves. They'll never tell you. They'll never tell the world. But from my experience, if you really did love yourself, you wouldn't be so brutal and so evil to other people. It wouldn't benefit you to be that way if you loved yourself. But you know, hurt people, hurt people, right? And I found that all of the people in my life that have hurt me, all of the people that brought me to this point where I'm talking to you now, where I'm talking to myself too, were miserable, miserable, wretched people inside. And I'm not saying that I forgive them for them. I forgive them for me. I forgive myself so I can move on and be better. But you have to look at the situation and see that why did you get yourself involved with your flavor of narcissist to begin with? I mean, I'll be honest, is that I was looking for someone externally to fix me. I thought that if I was with these people that they would fix the hurt that I always had as a child, as a young adult, as a young woman, as an older woman. 
I thought if I did everything that my parents told me to do, that they would give me the love that I so desperately needed. I thought that if I sacrificed for the men in my life, all the way up to this point now, that they would give me the protection and the safety that I just craved. I thought that if I was perfect towards my friends, if I overgave, if I was that shoulder, if I was that fixer, they would fix me back, right? I thought all these things. And then after my divorce and, of course, COVID and the isolation, you know, some people don't like being by themselves. Some people don't want to hear that voice in their head, even though that voice in their head is actually kind of therapeutic. When you have silence and you're by yourself, you have a chance to think. You have a chance to be. You have a chance to experiment about what you like, not what is popular, not what you're destined to, I guess, reach for, but just being deliciously selfish for yourself. And I found that when I took the plunge and actually purged myself of everything negative around me and really just invested in myself, even with COVID, the narcissistic people just kind of faded away from my life because I knew what I wanted and I knew what I expected and I knew that respect was more important than validation. And asking a narcissistic person, no, demanding a narcissistic person respect you is like, you know, they don't go away. They always keep their distance. They're always watching you because they have nothing else to fucking do because they're miserable people. But when you respect yourself and you love yourself and you really fill your own cup, that's when you realize that those toxic people, they kind of stay in the nosebleeds. They can still watch, but they don't come around you anymore because you radiate something good. You radiate that I'm not the one today, tomorrow, or ever. I think not enough people in this day and age really take being single seriously. Like being by yourself is a pariah of some sort, which is nothing of the case. I mean, wouldn't it be great to heal your wounds? Wouldn't it be great to kind of just do whatever you want when you want? Wouldn't it be great to like wake up and have cheesecake in the morning and read a good book or watch a good movie or take a walk and not have to worry about someone else's time frame? I know this sounds kind of foreign to people who are fixers, people who serve other people, but just imagine if you gave that much energy of serving to yourself and how great you would be. I just watched this movie where this woman was possessed by a ghost, right? She was possessed by a ghost and this dude basically exercised her, but he exercised her in this really interesting way. He made her go back to her childhood where I guess in her head she killed all these people and she was in jail, but there was nothing of the sort. She was just haunted by her past and she was just a people pleaser. She gave herself to her mother to please her mother and she married this man who just hated her and then, you know, she married into his family who hated her too. It was like a Cinderella story. But he asked her, the exorcist asked her, you know, who is really the ghost here? Who did you really kill? And then she looked and she was like, well, did I kill my husband and his family? Did I do this? And then when she reflected back on the dead bodies, they all had her face. She killed her feelings. She killed herself over and over and over again for the sake of other people. And then when he put that mirror to her face, he was like, 
but you're always staring outside at the birds. You think where you live is a prison, but why don't you just go outside? And so we go back to the scene where the family's yelling at her to get them more booze, and she's in the kitchen looking outside at the birds, and this beautiful picture shows up of two birds in this flowering tree, and the birds kind of look at each other, and then one bird flies away, and the exorcist is in this kitchen, and the woman's family is screaming at her to get more booze, but she's already gone. I think that is the moral of the story, is that you will never, ever, ever find that right person until you're that right person. You will never heal from narcissistic people if you just don't become narcissistic yourself and put yourself first, right? That doesn't mean you have to hate yourself. That just means that you have to nurture yourself and not keep killing yourself over and over and over again for someone else who won't appreciate you. Now, my life is much more peaceful and my friendships are definitely smaller, but they're richer. They're more perfect. They're more transparent. My relationships are fertile and honest and good and they uplift me. So I just want to offer that to you is that if you really want to get rid of narcissistic people and keep them away from you, please love yourself first. You deserve that. It doesn't matter what gender you are. If you don't put yourself first, you're going to just repeat this cycle over and over again. And I only say this is because this is the first time in my life that I have not repeated this cycle and I never knew how good life could be with this much peace. Have a good day, Internet.